Oh my god. No, no, no. You're putting grapes in the freaking candy wrappers? In the kinder wrappers? How about you be kinder and not do that? OMG, a new dirt bike for Christmas? You shouldn't have. Oh, uh, I mean, you really shouldn't have. This doesn't look staged at all. <laughs> Parked in a visitor spot near my house. Girl claims it is hers. Does this to my car later. Any advice? What is that? You threw something at it? Looks like, it literally looks like yogurt. I don't know. Uh, just clean it and move on with your day. Be the better person. I don't know. All right, Mario Kart, 200 C. No teams, custom items, hard com, all vehicles, random courses, four races. By custom items, you mean it's all blue shells, right? <laughs> this new feature, that's the only thing I've ever seen it used for, is blue shells only. So much effort to disappoint someone. Fill the baskets with dirty laundry and dishes so the recipient has something to do while crying about getting junk. Jesus Christ, calm down, Satan. The owner of this device turned off the dinosaur game. That's messed up, man. What's going on? Go out into the woods, find some poison ivy, be sure to wear gloves. Then every two weeks, just rub a little bit under her car door handle as you walk by. That way, right when it starts to clear up, she gets a nice new dose of itchy, nasty misery. You gotta boil it down outside. Boil the whole bunch while wearing a gas mask, then take the super concentrate and put a couple drops on the door handle. Jesus Christ, calm down, Satan. Yep, blue shells and the music box thing. Oh <laughs> yeah, okay. Could have figured as much. Lucifer trending, so I figured it'd be a good time to post this. Santa isn't real. Sorry, kids. Go Go cry to your dad. At least I have one. Dang, and that's the actual verified Satan. Hey, it's Santa Decides. He follows me on Twitter. Just like how you guys should follow me on Twitter at Says Mason Live. Haha. <laughs> Sir, I'm gonna take all your Laffy Taffies and leave them out in the sun for just enough time that upon looking at them, it seems normal. But when you open them, you will see it's melted and fused to the wrapper. And you try to get the wrapper off, but it keeps tearing. And you get stuck with a taffy that has small, unremovable plastic wrapper strips all over it. Calm down, Satan. Mmm, macroplastics. Got this in an Xmas cracker in school. The cracker was from a pack aimed at like five-year-old kids. <laughs> <laughs> what? Since when is that a rule? God, the liberal agenda. Kidding, kidding, of course. My old roommate used to go out driving on rainy days specifically to splash pedestrians. That seems pretty red flaggy to me. That's straight up evil. I owed money to someone and I had to take the opportunity to ruin their day. Oh, you're one of those guys. All pennies, oh, aren't you freaking special? Some really young <laughs> stars use their real names. I like to download their vids and send them to their parents on Facebook. <laughs> What do you gain from that? That's actually just messed up. Like, that's not even funny messed up. That's genuinely just you're a, you're a bad, terrible person. And I hope you get what's coming to you. Losing my mind, just offered the aisle seat to the guy sitting between me and my GF on a flight, and he said he'd rather stay in the middle seat between us. Wow, what a douche. Good lord. Get a job. Wait, there's also no seasoning. As bad as this looks, looks like Heartburn City for no reason whatsoever. It's still miles better than the PA pizza with the super thick dough, catsup, and American cheese on top. Do y'all just hate yourselves in PA? Cats up. What was that second ingredient again? They eat freaking cold pizza with no cheese too. Yes, officer, this one right here. Never been this disappointed in my life. Dude, you gotta make your own fries, man. You just grab a plate and there's already fries on it. It's a design, you dingo. One, tie him to a chair. Two, play baby shark on an infinite loop, but it's just the baby shark line. Pair it with an infinite loop of the most annoying sound in the world from Dumb and Dumber. Set up a robot arm to lightly bop him on the head with an inflatable hammer in time with the beat. I'd rather die. <laughs> I'd rather die than be subjected to that. I mean, if we really wanted comic book movies to be faithful to the source material rather than spending $100 million on one movie, what you do is give $20 million each to five different directors, release all five resulting movies in theaters at the same time, and make sure that each movie's plot refers to the events of all the other movies' plots in such a way that whichever of the five movies you watch will be entirely incomprehensible and every possible viewing order is wrong. This has never once crossed my mind, ever, as a, you know, Marvel guy, uh, but I would, I hate this. <laughs> I hate this so much. One time I had salt and vinegar Pringles that nobody who I know likes. I toss them with the good ones, sour cream and onion, and then give them to everybody. They didn't like it. Well, yeah, if they don't like the chips, they're not gonna like the chips, you dingus. Why is the picture of the Pringle guy there? What am I supposed to say? Okay. Hey, uh, uh, someone on Reddit posted something like, send me a picture of anything and I will not 
nut to it. So I went into his profile and found a picture of his dog who died a long time ago and sent it to him saying, you asked for it. He blocked me. Well, I mean, first of all, going onto the internet and saying that you will nut to any picture that you get sent is freaking weird, <laughs> first of all. So I say you had it coming, literally. I sent this prank puzzle to my grandpa who loves Trump and he finally started it today. Is this your idea of a joke? <laughs> yeah, lol. You aren't welcome here for Christmas. Your grandpa is furious. Oh, he's a snowflake twiggled. Oh, so sad. You get mad over a puzzle. Cry, cope, seethe. I was at a concert today and I saw some ambulance drivers sleeping in the ambulance. So I ran over, started pounding on the hood and yelled, help, I think my friend is dying. And then ran full speed off and kept yelling, you have to hurry. I lost him in the crowd and for 45 minutes, I saw people with walkie talkies all over the place freaking out. I wish I would have filmed it next time. <laughs> That's amazing, man. Is that amazing? Is that amazing? I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of funny. That's true. Sometimes I wonder why some talismans even exist. I equip it when my cousin wants to play r slash found Satan. Here's a 91 degree angle. Oh my God. I can, I can tell. Oh, oh my God. You're the worst. Back in uni, a girl mocked my presentation one time. So I searched for her group and asked the topic they were presenting on. I spent four days researching on it and asked her so many questions like it was common knowledge that she cried. Stay blessed, precious one. That's how you get it back. That's how you get it back. This is why you never get Welch's from the dollar store. You're right. The grape ones are the worst. The strawberry ones are actually the only good ones. I enjoy getting my sleeves wet when I wash my hands. Whenever I'm at work and I have to wash my hands, I purposely wet my sleeves so that they stick better to my wrists and give me a nice cooling sensation. It's pure bliss. God, aliens, the devil, me. <laughs> a post at my sister's apartment, please. Please disconnect from my speaker. To the person who keeps connecting their device to my speaker and playing adult videos, please disconnect from our device. It is very upsetting to hear your adult videos on our speaker at all hours of the day. Please. What? <laughs> what? Do you not have anything better to do than play prank in other people's speakers? Oh my goodness. Be me, 15. Parents buy me a Sony phone for Christmas. Something like a pickerel. Mad because I wanted a Samsung. Find out this phone has an IR blaster. Use the TV remote app to troll my dad watching the football. Decide to be more mischievous. Go around the neighborhood. If I see someone's TV on, I turn it off with the app and keep walking. See local Facebook posts. Has anyone else's TV stopped working? Yeah, mine turned off for no reason. Mine keeps switching channels and muting itself. We do a little troll. That's crazy that a phone has an IR blaster. That's actually hilarious though. That's genuinely like nice, kind-hearted fun. If I change my ringtone to the catchy prank hub intro sound, then I would be able to know who watches prank hub on the regular if they look at me funny. Oh yeah. Yep. I don't know what that sound is. So I have no idea what you're talking about. Kind of same experience. We were babysitting a hamster and our cat killed it. So we bought an identical one and the owner still doesn't know. Bro? Say psych. Say you're on God. That's... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hope he never finds out. Boys, it is with great displeasure to tell you that my dog has died. Damn, I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy. I would. Damn, that is heartless. I might cry. <laughs> At my next job, I'm gonna lie about having a kid so I can leave the office anytime I want like everyone else with children. Might just say my imaginary child has diabetes so I have to take him to the doctor each and every two weeks or monthly. This is an easy, easy strat. It's gonna work. What are they gonna do, question you? That's a lawsuit waiting to happen. Beads in my pill dispenser, courtesy of my daughters. Ah uh, yes, macroplastics. <laughs> from from the other one, from from the other post, yeah, the, the laffy taffy one. Get it? Please laugh. Apparently, the old geezers at my school don't like fun, even when there's no Wi-Fi. What? Stick a turkey leg in a sneaker and let your dog patrol your yard. Whoo! <laughs> that is risky. That could get your dog in danger for sure if the wrong guy walks by. Posting. Wow, pretty problematic. Under every single person, Spotify wrapped, and then responding, "It's not my job to educate you." When they ask what I mean by that. Well, this is very funny. The people who genuinely do this unironically to, to things are the worst, 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 worst people. I've never had any pleasure in hanging out with any of them. Every time I get in class, this dude always asks me for a piece of gum. Oh no, not the Play-Doh. That's the evilest thing I can imagine. I saw a kid crying, so I asked him where his parents were and he started crying more. Anyways, working at the orphanage is fun. <laughs> no, not the
the poor kids. Someone took a battery out of my friend's control. What? Just one? What do you need one battery for? A flashlight? A little tiny baby man flashlight? Take both of them if you're gonna be that way. Don't be a coward. My sister doesn't like to eat the fried part of onion rings. Oh, you mean the freaking fried bit? The actual thing that makes it the ring? The breading? You just like to eat the, the slightly warm onion? What the hell? Before my mom passed away, she gave my dad strict instructions to water the plants in the bathroom. He's been religiously watering them and keeping them alive. They look so amazing, he decided to take them to his new home, only to discover they're plastic. Can hear my mom chuckling. <laughs> you know what? That's actually very wholesome and very funny. You know, I'm sure the dad took it really well and he might have cried a little bit, but it was like a slash pause cry, you know? My classmate occasionally says, nope pun intended after a sentence. He then proceeds to watch the confusion on their victims' faces and smiles. See, this is something that I would probably do if I had a little bit more confidence in myself, but that is golden. I love that. Told my son we could watch the Mario Bros early. Oh, you mean this crappy ass movie? Oh God, I don't even want to get started on my thoughts on this movie. My daughter made $110 on her lemonade stand today in like an hour. Turned out people were handing her $5 and $10 and she was just assertively saying thank you for the tip and not offering change. That's how you do it, man. Why would you go up to a little a little girl at a lemonade stand and expect her to have change? It's messed up. She deserves that money. Everyone deserves mercy. I make fake X buttons on mobile game ads. Most people deserve mercy. Three rules, no wishing for death, no falling in love, no bring back dead people. I wish all spider limbs extend by two meters. There are four rules. I wish all spiders could fly. Dude, what is wrong with you? What is your issue? I want a shirt that has a QR code on it for some kind of horrible malware so that if anyone ever tries to film me in public their phone will automatically scan the code and be reduced to a functionless brick i love the idea something about this screams illegal to me though but if it's not i sh think you should do it tubs is friendly she would love a gentle pat imagine if that dog was hyper aggressive but someone from the neighborhood put that sign up as a prank yeah if you want to <laughs> if you want to get maimed by a by a very hyper aggressive dog yeah that'd be a great prank you should do that awesome youtube channel annoying sounds three hours of fart sounds three hours of unexpected item in bagging area sounds three hours of slurping sounds three hours of cicada sounds three hours of dial-up modem sounds oh my god I hate all of these. I, I, uh, no. If anyone ever calls me a coward, I hope that the next time you piss that you can't stop even when you die and that every piece of food you eat will contain at least two cockroaches forever. That's a little much for being called a coward. I think you need to dial it down a little bit. Pill that makes you experience when your blankets are so warm, but you have to grab something just out of reach and ruin your comfort and you know you won't be able to get it back. Why? What is wrong with you? I can't appreciate anything more than a nice comfortable blanket and I've had this happen to me too many many times. <sighs> when I was 10, my friend's grandma died and I wanted to make her feel better, so I called her with no caller ID and said, it's me, your grandma, I'm coming back for you, while playing hell noises in the background. When you were a kid, I am, I'm sure that doing the, the grandma part was an act of kindness. Why were you playing hell noises? Huh? What's the point? If you wanted to make her feel better, why are you playing hell noises? I remember years ago when I was in elementary school, my father had a really tiny orange touchscreen phone. One day when me and my brother were watching videos, he came to our room with his phone in a glass full of water and in all seriousness asked who did this. Turns out the phone was actually waterproof and he pranked us. Lol. God, back when phones used to be waterproof, what happened? Oh my god. What? No. Nothing's in the right place. Ah, uh, oh god, why are the why are the arrow points like that? Why is W not where it's supposed to be? Fix it. Fix it now. Fix it. When my friend came over with his VR, they decided to play FNAF. I excused myself to go to the bathroom. But instead, I decided to turn off every single light in the house except for the bathroom where I would hide. I decided to put a speaker underneath the radiator. We'll never look. Blasted out Freddy's music box on loop. Whilst I was on the toilet taking a dump, I could hear the chaos starting. So I sat on the throne with a big grin on my face enjoying the screams. One of my favorite days. God, I love that. I love that. That's so freaking funny. Jump scaring your friends with Freddy music from Five Nights at FNAF. Very, very good. Very clever. Love it. Nope. You know what would be funny? Don't tell anybody this because I might actually do it, but what if I learned to code specifically so I could make a program called Polybius and put it on the creepy laptop I have and bring it to school? By the way, Polybius is an urban legend about an arcade game that makes people go insane. I think it would be a funny prank. That's so evil. Colon 3. 
three, but it's perfect. Is it perfect? I'm gonna have to search up Polybius because I've never heard of this before. This girl on Instagram posted her plane ticket and I called and canceled her flight. Ruthless, savage, awful. The name checks out, you are a toxic king. I made a horror story with a scene in which a character literally melts from the inside out. One of my friends thought it was kind of funny and I'd like to say that you ma'am are either unfazed by body horror or the devil. She thought it was funny that the person melted from the inside out? <laughs> oh my God, get that person away from me, quite literally. Oh, you drew a pentagram in the concrete. Or is that with chalk? I don't know, I can't really tell. It kind of looks like it's in the concrete. I am a merciful God. My grandpa was something of a prankster in his teaching days. My mom just told me this story. My grandpa was a math teacher and he had a bunch of different math related shirts that he would wear. One of these shirts had a problem where you had to use all roads on an island without going down the same road twice. He wore this shirt to school and gave the problem to his smartest class and told them that he would give them the answer the next time he wore the shirt. He then proceeded to shuffle that shirt to the back of the closet, letting his students struggle to solve the problem for upwards of a month. The next time he wears the shirt, the class asked him what the solution was, and he held up his end of the deal and said that the problem couldn't be solved. God, they were just sitting in angst and agony for a month, only to be let down. I love it! GG's, and I hope you have an itchy feeling on your insides for the rest of your life. Something tells me you didn't actually mean that GG. I sent a classmate a bunch of these fake colorblind tests, now she thinks that she's colorblind. Wait, you guys can't see the seven that's there? I literally can see it. It's it's like bright as day. Are you sure you're not colorblind? Someone remixed my game on Scratch to insult you when you die. <laughs> Get beaned? You're an idiot? Stupid. And then, the, and then a crowd laugh? I love that. That's so funny. People that scoot ice cream with a fork are absolute psychopaths. I'm gonna be real with you guys. There was this one time when I was living on my own in an apartment in uh, 2021 uh, where I got this ice cream from the gas station and I didn't have any clean spoons. And I gobbled that <laughs> down with a fork. I would do it again. I told someone that lol was lots of love. They commented that on someone dying. Their Facebook got banned for toxicity. Oh, uh, we've all seen this meme before. <laughs> Not original. Get owned. I was eating these when my roommate walked in and asked how many packages I ate today. I said four. She called me Satan, took a picture, and left. What do I do? You ate four packages of black licorice Twizzlers? Not four strands. Four full packages? You are Satan. Who the hell likes black licorice, let alone that much? No internet? That's okay. We're gonna kill this f***ing dinosaur.